So I have here, I'm going to analyze someone's analysis of my picture, trying to prove that the hairline is completely off and that it, it doesn't even come close to match and the nostrils too small and the lips are too small and and it just it just can't be Joseph Smith. He couldn't have lost any of his hair, you know. And so this was their sketching of Illinois man's features. So I never named what I do. I'm just like, oh, I'm just tracing the outline. Um, and then certain people started calling it contour tracing and saying that this is just what F and then another person saying this is just what FBI does. They always do contour tracing. They trace all the facial individual facial features and put it on and just describing exactly what I do. And I'm like, that's a little bit rude. I know they don't do that. <laughs> so I, I, you can just look into Google Scholar. You don't have to believe me. Um, they usually do dots. And so I'm just going to do dots right now. And contour tracing only found having to do more I'm going to use a different color here than I did before. And I just want to, as, as well as possible, do like some dots of how it traced the eye in my picture and put it on the death mask. But it always had to do with plastic surgery. When, when I was trying to find, do is there any evidence of forensic anthropologists using the term contour tracing and doing exactly what I do and I couldn't find it so it only had to do with um, plastic surgery where you know there's a lot of swelling and things change as the face changes but they know that you want to remove this exact amount from the chin or you know but things swell and you can't see how the face normally was so they would contour trace the contours of the face so they could see how much the face swelled how much things moved as they did the surgery so that's what that terminology relayed to i started calling it trace superimposition very recently i just didn't name it as anything and i never claimed that i saw tegan or machi do it because i didn't So I sort of adjusted a few things. I, I'm not gonna eat, I don't even wanna. So what I'm really wanting to do is compare this version of the death mask So they usually do dots, and so the one criticism from someone was vaguely sort of like, well, the tracing, you're sort of hiding something. Like, you're trying to point out that there's a wrinkle, like even here. Like, I was frustrated trying to make a video because I'm like, I can't even see for sure is that really where the eye is. And so I believe, but this is the pedestal death mask right here. And so they're claiming the Illinois hair mat hairline doesn't match. It's this here's the hairline. It doesn't meet there. And that doesn't mean that. But he's got the eyes lined up, the nose, the mouth, the chin. It's not him. Right, but there's a lot of distortion that I've talked about before. I just felt like I, I just wanted to do this today. Lined up this with So I've got this version of the death mask right here. And I'm going to see if I lined it up very well as I do this. What I've also got is the pedestal. I mean, not the pedestal, but this is silver p -cents. So as you see, it's so pixelated because this isn't my photo. So I just want to make sure this is all lined up. I tried recording this earlier. And in real time, I was adjusting things and trying to decide what I wanted to 
to analyze. So I just want to analyze just really the death mask that this person used to analyze my picture. Because some things were pretty interesting. And so one thing I did do is I tilted it back. Because Originally, my picture was was shaped a little bit differently, but I mainly was comparing it to these death masks. So this is tilted. Look how much I tilted it to line it up with my picture and the death mask. So I've really was just analyzing earlier on my own, just not record. I did record it, but I'm not going to show it. Um, it's just hard for me to talk and do things at the same time, but I've always felt it was right to do that. So you could see, this is why I traced this right there. This is why I did that. And then I can show things and take them away, show them, take them away, show them, take away. So for some reason, even though I just spent an hour sort of messing with this, just looking at the outline of the hair, so I adjusted this. So this is a little bit different. I just remembered this because I was working on some other stuff. So I did adjust just this right here. So ignore that because I was talking about light distortion and how this was blown out. So I did bring this in slightly just so you know. So I think that's why that's off. Okay. But right here. I'm not going to worry about the image below. I'm focusing just on this death mask right here. And so I did some layers. So I've got layer, that silver piece. I, this is, there we go. So these are basically corner of the eye, corner of the eye. And so I can take this away and put my finger right there. That's about the corner of the eye, corner of the eye. But it's just, you can see no detail. It's, it's the double death mask that you can see a lot of detail. So this is a little bit Yeah, but I lined up lined this up with silver pea scents. So I'll show you what I was doing. So here is the outline of silver pea scents death mask. So I traced that and lined it up to this death mask. And now I want to just line everything up with this. So that's the outline of silver pea scents. And see how well I've lined that up with my picture. Nostril. Just want silver pea scents. Okay. And so their website kind of went away. Corner of the eye, corner of the mouth, corner of the mouth. And you can see the hairline follows like the same shape. And then it just sort of goes this weird. It's just not lining up. And obviously it's not covering all the way to corner of here. And it, this didn't cover. But you see how this is, has a normal shape. And then this is going down, 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 down. So if we, you know, cut this in half and flipped that over, it's not the same shape. Something happened to Joseph's face right here. And there's... It looks like an indentation right there. He fell on his left side head first. And the skull that, you know, it, it's broken right on the sides. And um, I think there was deterioration, so that probably did happen as he died. I think that death mask is lined up the best that it can be. 
and that's really pretty good. So as you can see with my earliest videos, I was just using this and this was lining up and that was off. But then I started using my own photography and you can just see the shape of it is a little bit different. It just looks a little, it's just a little bit more narrow, a little bit wider, a little bit wider, a little bit more narrow, but corner of the eye, we can make sure everything's lined up. And so that's camera distortion of my own photography. You can see how distorted my photography is because the silver piece sent their website's gone. Um, but they, it's very, it was, it was very, very old, like from the nineties and before it was like 20, 16 because I had surgery that April and I went to the I kept wanting to go to the church history museum because I kept seeing that they were um remodeling and they had just finished right yeah they just finished and I went once with my family and got my last meal where I'd have major surgery like they had to reopen this huge incision and take a huge mass out on my left ovary like 10 centimeters huge and I'm growing another one so that was great news that I got a month ago um so it's just a lot of great news this fall going to doctors like I'm always I have so much PTSD from what happened 10 years ago so three years before that you know but I, I went there and that was the first time in person I saw the death mask but I don't I didn't take any pictures of the death mask in 2016 um I didn't really like it I wasn't interested in it I'm like that looks awful I just looked at that and I'm like, why does it look like he's smiling? And like, why? It just, it just looked weird. The whole thing was weird. So I understand, like now I've spent so many years looking at it. I, I know it very well. So camera distortion, it just adjusts things a little bit. So this is more narrow. That's more wide. So it's so slight, but it's still, that's quite significant. And so the difference between silver P sense picture. And Curtis Weaver's. Now that's different. I put my finger in the corner of the mouth that matches the left side of his mouth, but the nostrils, it's really different. And so what I did was I traced and then I did some little tracings right here. So let me, So this is more trying to do reading site. I was trying to be so careful. I kept doing what I do. I didn't want to falsely claim that I'm a forensic anthropologist or try to do what they do because it. I was just letting them do what they do. I didn't want to start trying to act like I knew how Tegan analyzes my, you know, I just, I'm like, I'll just try for from 2019 to 2023. I tried to only talk about stuff like I was so paranoid. I didn't want to talk about anything that they had told me. So that was so much stress. You have no idea. I didn't want to talk about pitosis or which is one of the things that they talked about. It's just that pitosis, that lazy eye right there. Um, and this, and then Dr. Herod talked about the step deformity. So I just started calling it a step deformity, but I knew what they thought. And so much of what they had said was so similar to Dr. Herod's, but they had never read his report. the nose is so different. It's just hard to know what he did. And so I don't know the name of the program and it's just unfortunate, but somehow he's aware of what Daniel Larson had. So I didn't know that. And so these, his, he started in just emailing me everywhere. He could, um, And obviously this is a female, this is a male, but you see how heavy, heavy, heavy unilaterally the eyelids on our, and how um, level his eyes are. And there is no scar pulling the side of his mouth up. It's pretty much a unilateral frown. 
and a very, very flat chin. Um, she has a very flat chin. She almost looks like she's smiling, but she's still the sides of her mouth, just sort of naturally curved downward. And I'd say the tip of her nose is a little bit higher. It's pretty similar to this guy. Um, he doesn't have Hiram's nose. Tip of his nose seems a little bit lower, but like you could, it depends on how well you can see the nostrils. So if you look at Hiram's death mask and your level, tip of his nose goes very low. And then you can see it in the paintings of him. Um, the shape of their eyebrows, although this is a terrible picture, terrible quality, you can still see the expression of their eyes is just exactly the same. It just, the pupils, the, the shape of everything. They just look like they could start talking and just start whipping out some Norwegian. Sorry guys, that's not to be mean. I just really think that. Um, I can see waves going to the root of her hair and coming out. And the same with him there. And there are, there are um, I guess what they use, India ink on top of some of the, there's a photo of her. Her hair almost looks black, but it's a little bit lighter right there. But then you can sort of see some of those waves. So she probably, it's like 1800s, like Photoshop. Like, can you just smooth out? Inch, but in that picture, Obviously, she's showing off her hair and showing off her curls and being proud of them, right? Right here. But there is another picture in the memoirs of President Joseph Smith III where she has her hair pulled back. It's parted in the middle and she's just smoothed it back into like a bun. But you can see the waves. So clearly she wasn't putting her hair in rags and trying to have curly hair. I, I still really strongly believe her hair is naturally curly and his hair is naturally very, very curly. And you can see just sort of this roundedness right there that is very very similar it just really sort of rounds and protrudes out at the corner of their mouths and they just look related um, but I think my biggest criticism really is especially here's the silver pea scent and just looking at it from Far away so here's here's the sketching of it so let me get rid of that but you can see that shape is this interesting sort of indent with his nose that's missing off of it's not missing here so here's all I'll, I'll kind of show you pointing out this right I want you to look at that so it's still here take that away and it's still here in my photo of it. And you can see it very, very well. So I'll just zoom in really far. You see that? It just has a little bit of this indent. Whereas right here, it sort of has this wider shape. This looks more like Joseph Smith III's nose as I'm starting to look at this, right? So, I mean, it could be from injury, but the cartilage it has a little bit more of this thing, but on that side. So the reason I wanted a high resolution picture is because I wanted to see if that unique feature was in my picture. And I think I did talk about that in my videos. I haven't watched every single video of mine recently from 2017. And you can see how that shadow changes right there. So we just take this all away and just look at my picture. We can see there are some shadow changes. are very very similar okay and I line this up as best as I could so there's the corner of the eyes corner of the eye corner of the eye corner of the mouth right right here corner of the mouth right there It's really lined up very well. But you have to remember, he has my picture underneath it. So I bring my picture back. The hairline suddenly, do you, get, do you see this? So as far as in the criticism I, I do have is of the hairline specifically. So the nose looks totally different in the hairline. 
Maybe I will erase it because I can just re-upload it. So let's select this and let's go ahead and bring this back. So if I put my hand to the edge of that hairline, see now it's lining up really good. And you see the top right there. Because really, he has no hair right here. It's very clear that this is bald all the way back to there. And even this looks a little bit different than silver pea scents, so. See the difference of that. So it's interesting. So you've got plaster right here, but this does go back to about there. Let's see if that lines up very well with my picture. So where all this goes back. So what is ironic, okay, is right here. I'll do even another layer. See, it's so blown out. But there's still hair right there. It is sparse but there's a shadow as if he still has hair. And so this man still has some hair. It's just become a lot thinner right there. So we take, keep that right there. And bring this back. So it really is still it's bald to here and there's a little bit of sparse hair right there so there's a little bit of shadow right there and so in his picture we could just do it in green there's sort of this line of everything Like this doesn't, this is not symmetrical. I think his, I think his scalp got damaged on this side. I think he fell head first. This is his, this is our right, this is his left. Randy Willard Richards fell head first on his left side. Um, someone gave a testimony saying it was a different side, but who knows if they knew their left or right's right. But this is going all the way back to there. And so I think there's a lot of damage to here and it's blown out because of light distortion. And so the farther back things go, the dots are just so much easier to do. So the more room there is for camera distortion as things are at different distances. And so this outline is obviously farther away distance wise. But you can see there's no hair right here. And then I think this got crazy different because of injury. That has been my theory. And then I can take this and adjust it. So I have to perfectly grab that. And if you just move it around a little bit. Then you see things falling into place. So the shape wise, bam, bam, bam. Coming in a little bit right there, bam, bam, bam. But there is sort of a shadow right there. So it's hard to know. Maybe he still had hair right there. I don't know. Maybe it went at this odd angle. 
I'm, I'm going along with opposite things happening with Levi Hancock saying he was drugged from his bed by his hair. I think they grabbed a clump of hair right there. His hair must have been, maybe it was long. And drug him and he's kicking and it, they pulled his hair out and it didn't grow back. So it's very asymmetrical. And this is not normal male pattern baldness. It would explain this very well of this being Joseph Smith because this man has less hair on this side of his head than he does on that side. So it's more receded. And so when you see this shadow right there, you have to kind of squint your eyes, but you can see this shadow. And so this is Gawain Weaver's own photography. Uh, it's quite blown out. But um, there's a shadow right here. And so that's really, this is the real corner of his forehead, right? So this shape going around like that now seems like if I normalized this, that's why I did change this a little bit. Then this actually then does match right there. So that's symmetrical, but the death mask isn't. This part is pulled in substantially like this. And I, I would believe from injury. Yeah, I just don't understand what, what happened to the shape of the nose because you can really see that shape right there and that shape right there. And then this picture that Curtis used trying to say that the guy in my picture's nose is not big enough. It's not even on the same plate. It doesn't line up at all. This is off. That is off. It looks completely adjusted, but I don't know what depth perception would have caused the nose to be misplaced this direction. Because corner of the mouth lines up, corner of the mouth lines up. And then the nose is brought more this way. That doesn't quite make any sense. Um, I don't know what he did. It is just is my strong opinion that he did something weird to the nose so that the width of the nose is wider right there. So you can see there's that corner of the nose right there. There's that side, the cartilage is a different shape. It has that shape right there. The nose is very misshapen from, from whatever he did right here. And that's why, you know, you, I'm not bitter. I'm not trying to be mean. It's just, it's shaped totally differently. It's completely made more wide even right here. It's in a different spot. So I'm just going to choose a different color, just do a couple, a little bit more tracings. So the mouth is shaped really differently from what I can see. I can see a shadow going down to there and then just kind of coming around like that. And obviously we don't see anything right there, but I think light is reflecting off his lips right there. And I can see the bottom lip ending about there. And I see this scar. So the mouth shape, I think, is totally different than what he sketched. It's only slightly more, slightly thinner on the bottom. But again, this version of the death mask he has going on, it just looks totally different. So I'll just zoom out and just squint your eyes. You can see that middle part of the lip does come down. So as far as everything that I see that lines up, you know, here are these nostrils. This is very level, very level. And then you go up to here, this eye is not level with this eye. This eye is lower than that one. This eyelid's heavier than that one. This eye is lower than that eye. This is more sunk. This is very sunken in. You see sharp, sharp lines.
and you can see that right here there's that sharp crease and then you see he's got the swoop that is seen in the artwork this guy definitely has that that's a very unique feature to look like there's a line being drawn like a swoop i don't know what you would call that scientifically you know in the shape of this eyebrow, you can see the imprint of the eyebrow hairs going like that, how that all goes. And then here's that line going down the nose, that bump in the nose. See this odd bump going right there, right in the same spot, this line going down. This actually lines up perfectly where that scar is. So people keep talking about that scar. And you can see the furrow in his left eyebrow. So some one woman was pointing that out and she got upset with me on TikTok. She's an anti-Mormon though. Um, she probably saw my video, but you see that furrow is more going this direction. It goes that direction right there. That does line up. And this left eyebrow is much shorter. But yet you can see a shadow of his eyelashes. Like this man has long eyelashes. They're in his eyes. That was something that was described as Joseph Smith's having these really long eyelashes. And you can see them. How long they are? That's his eyelash. We, we can see the imprint of his eyelashes. Um, anyway, I won't say any more. And have a good day.